I'm Susan with Kiwi Lane Designs and in this video I'm going to show you a fun tip using the shape scissors. Now a lot of us might already have these and some of us might you need to even blow the dust off of them but they're really fun to use on your borders and your fun borders and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Now you can buy these shape scissors in a variety of different designs and you can get them at maybe any of your local craft stores. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to start the same way we usually do by tracing out our border sets. And so you simply just line it up on the edge of your paper like this. Take a pencil, trace, and then take your other one. And then I'm just going to make a mark right here. That's going to let me know where to do a straight cut with my paper trimmer, which I'm going to do really quickly. Okay, and then once we have this cut out, we're going to go ahead and cut up that center line. Now, normally what we recommend is just using a nice pair of scissors and following that line once up the center. But to just kind of change things up and um, add a little bit more of an edgy look to your borders, you can use a pair of these shape scissors. And so instead of using the straight scissors, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use these and follow that line. Now, one thing I've noticed about the shaped scissors is that you do wanna maybe slow down your cut um, when you're cutting just so that it doesn't tear the paper. So maybe just go a little bit slower than normal. Um, and also don't go to the edge of your scissors. Um, you're just gonna kinda of do a quick short cut and then line your paper or line your scissors back up to match that pattern like there and then do it again. Um, I've noticed that when I finish my cut all the way to the edge, um, sometimes it will tear my paper. So that's just some tips when you're working with um, the different shape scissors and all brands are a little bit different, but just pay attention to that. And then of course, adding a little ink will really highlight that texture on your border as well and of course hide any of those pencil marks that you might have. So really fun, uh, simple tip um, that you can try on your next layout. And they're really fun to even try with the fun borders. So for example, maybe one of the trail sets, you can do that, um, cut them out using the shape scissors. So for example, on this layout you see here, I've just used the shape scissors to cut out my fun border. And you'll notice that I even used um, the shape scissors not only on my fun border, but I even used them down here on my little banner that I created. And I just used the cone shape from Tiny Celebrate to create just kind of a little banner to fill in that empty space. Hopefully this video has inspired you to pull out those shape scissors and use them. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to talk to your Kiwi Lane instructor or email us at customerservice at kiwilane.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.